When ready, 3,000, Pearling 303. Darwin is such an exciting place to do air traffic control because we have such a variety in the different aircraft that we get to control. So small Cessna aircraft all the way through to F-35s during exercise period. Being an air traffic controller in Darwin is challenging. It's very hard work. It's dynamic, but most of all, I really love it. The best thing ever. A good air traffic controller needs to be dynamic, be able to think on their feet and to have a high degree of problem solving. Every day is different, so to be able to come to work every day and experience something new and exciting is part of the reason the role is so rewarding. Because of the great differences in the aircraft speeds, it can make it very difficult to sequence. Some days you have your sequence all completely done, you know what's going to happen, everything looks perfect, and then the military aircraft in the exercise areas will decide to come back and because they're so quick, they really kind of just ruin your sequence and you have to plan everything again. We do a lot of training, so it takes about three months of live controlling with the training officer to become rated in the position. But then once you have your own rating, um, you're on your own, usually with a supervisor there to watch you as well. Darwin is a great place to live. I have been here for over four years and I really enjoy it. Such a great lifestyle, it's so outdoors, whether it's just walking along the esplanade in the afternoons, really is such a great place to live. I think that this is the best job in the world. So if you've thought about it even just a little bit, please do apply. We do have a shortage of air traffic controllers in the Air Force and we'd love to have you.